Welcome to Story Time with Miss LaPari. Today's story is Ballerino Nate, written by Kimberly Brubaker Bradley, illustrated by R. W. Alley. On the first day of the last week of kindergarten, Nate brought home a permission slip. We're going to a ballet, he said. Yuck, said Nate's brother Ben. We're going too. Yuck, yuck, triple yuck. Ben was in second grade. He knew almost everything. What's a ballet? Nate asked. Silly stuff, said Ben. Girls in dresses. Mom said, that's not true, Ben. Ballet is a type of dancing. It's very beautiful. Sometimes ballets even tell stories. She looked at Nate's permission slip. This ballet is called the Springtime Garden. Sarah from my class is dancing in it, Ben said. Yuck! Please stop saying yuck, said Mom. Nate loved the ballet. He loved the fluttery costumes that the dancers wore. He loved the way the dancers jumped and leaped and spun. He loved the way their movements looked like music. I want to learn ballet. Nate said when he got home. You can't, Ben said. You're a boy. But I want to, Nate said. Can I, Mom? Can I please? Classes don't start in the summer, Mom said. But maybe in the fall. I'll find out how old you have to be. All summer, Nate danced. He danced on the smooth, cold tile in the kitchen. He danced in the long, tickly grass on the lawn. He danced on the rough, hot driveway. Mom read in books about ballet. Nate learned the words ballerina and plie and tutu. Boys don't dance, said Ben. Yes, I do, said Nate. Watch. He jumped into the air and spun around and came down on his toes like a real ballerina. Just before school started again, Mom said, Good news, Nate. I talked to Miss Nadia from the ballet school. She says you can join the new beginner class. Yeah! Nate cheered. I get to be a ballerina! Ben laughed. Boys can't be ballerinas. Yes, they can, said Nate. No, they can't, said Ben. He said it again at night when they were supposed to be asleep. Boys can't be ballerinas. They never, ever can. Ben knew almost everything. Nate chewed the inside of his lip. What if Ben was right? One thing I know about ballerinas, Ben said in the morning, they all have to wear pink shoes. Nate was horrified. I can't wear pink shoes. You'll have to, Ben said. Pink shoes and a dress. Nate hated shoes. He hated pink. He hated dresses. All summer long, he had danced in bare feet and shorts. He started to cry. Dad came in. What's the matter, Nate? Ballet shoes are pink, Nate wailed. Not always, Dad said. They make black ballet shoes and white ones. And I don't want to wear a dress, sobbed Nate. You won't have to, said Dad. Why did you think so? He looked at Ben. Ben? All ballerinas wear pink shoes and dresses, said Ben. That's not true, said Dad. I promise. And all ballerinas are girls, said Ben. Most ballerinas are girls, said Dad. Not all. Nate, tell me, how many girls played on Ben's Little League team? Two, said Nate. He sniffed. So most of Ben's Little League team was boys, said Dad. Can girls play Little League? Yes, said Nate. He felt a little better. In Little League, the girls wore the same uniforms as the boys, Ben said. Nate hid his head in his arms. On Monday, they went to the ballet school. Inside the hallway, two big girls were stretching on the floor. They wore pink tights and shiny pink shoes. Girls, said Ben. I don't care, said Nate. But he did. 
they heard music coming from a classroom. Nay looked inside. Three more big girls were doing exercises. Nate smiled. Ben said, They're all girls. Ben, please go wait for me in the lobby, said Mom. At the next doorway, Mom said, Nate, I think this is your class. Nate peeked in. There were five little girls inside. Go on, said Mom. Nate loved the ballet teacher. He loved the ballet class. But on the way home, Ben said, Was I right? And Nate miserably nodded. See, said Ben, all ballerinas are girls. They're not, said Mom. Nate said, They were. Friday, Mom said she had a surprise for Nate. I'm going to take you to a real ballet. Our school trip was to a real ballet, Ben said. Sarah was a petunia. Yes, Mom said. That was a real ballet. School ballet. This is a professional one. The dancers Nate and I will see get paid to dance. Dancing is their job. Like professional baseball players, Dad said. Major league dancing. Have fun. The theater was much bigger and fancier than the one Nate's school had gone to. The stage was enormous. The curtain went up. Nate held his breath. The lights grew brighter and the people on the stage began to dance. They were amazing. Watching them made Nate's feet want to dance. Dancers lifted other dancers high into the air. They looked as if they were flying. They're beautiful, Nate said. He had been watching the dancers so hard, he hadn't noticed the dancers. Now he did. They're boys, he whispered. Half of them are boys. Men, said Mom. Yes, they are. When the ballet was finished, Mom took Nate to a door at the side of the theater, and after a while, one of the dancers came out. He smiled at Nate. Are you a ballerina? Nate asked. The dancer shook his head. No, he said, I'm not. Only the very top dancers in a company are called ballerinas. And anyway, men can't be ballerinas. Nate looked at the ground. He felt like crying. I know, he said. That's what my brother told me. The man lifted Nate's chin. Men can't be ballerinas. Because the word ballerina means woman dancer, he said. I just call myself a dancer. But if I wanted to use a word like ballerina, I'd say ballerino. Ballerino is the word for men. Oh, said Nate. Are you a ballerino? Not yet, said the man. But I dance. Oh, said Nate. Oh, so do I. He couldn't wait to tell Ben. The end. Thanks for reading along with me today. Remember to subscribe below to hear more stories. Have the best day and remember to keep reading.